Hello and welcome to the AR Price version 2.0 fully mobile responsive pricing table WordPress plugin demo. Um, I'm excited to show you this because there's some great new features if you are familiar with version 1. And um, there's a beautiful dashboard we're going to switch over to in a minute, but before we do that, I want to show you some of the end user templates that your clients will see when you put this on your website. Um, there are 20 different templates that you can pick and choose from and make edits to. Um, so first of all, I want to point out this new feature. You can have a monthly, yearly, and even a quarterly switch here. So people can see what the price would be for a yearly contract versus a monthly contract with your company. Um, this is becoming more and more popular on the market and we make it really easy to do and I'll show you how to do that soon. Also notice there's some animation features that are very easy to add as well. Um, another template I want to show you illustrates that you can have different column lengths with this product and we'll show you how to do that. You can add video and other animations. We support different languages and we also support something that's new in the marketplace as well. Everybody has been adding these Meet Our Team features to their website, and this makes it super easy to do this. I'm going to show you how to create these as well when we jump into the demo. So let's switch over and have a look at the AR Price dashboard. So here's where you would enter the product. All of the tables you've already created are going to be shown across the top and down below you can select your template. So I'm going to select this one and let's just get started. So as you can see we have a full featured editor and it's extremely simple to use. Um, all you have to do is point and click and drag and drop. So I can move columns around, I can um, make any edits to columns directly. Across the top we have some additional navigation elements that appear on the right which we'll jump into soon. Adding a column is as simple as clicking the plus sign here. Adding a row is as simple as um, clicking on your column and adding a row. It's um, Everything is very easy, and if you want to make an edit, you just simply click on the item, and uh, you can make that edit. So I want to show you a couple things within the columns. Um, so let's click on this column here and jump right in. I want to make note of our icon set. Now we have over 2,400 unique font icons that you can add. It's very simple to do. So if I add um, an icon, for example, I can choose the size and then drop it in. As you can see, it's been added here. And I'm going to add a space very quickly. So now it looks neat and tidy. You can add an image to your header or any other element in the column, change colors, um, Fonts. Wow, we have 700 plus fonts available for you to choose from. Um, very easy to change your font styles and things like that. So what I want to do at this point is confirm the addition of this. Now let's jump in and add a ribbon. Um, ribbons are also nice to have, um, so I'm going to add a ribbon to this middle column. Let's jump into column settings and select a ribbon. There's several styles to choose from. Let's go with this ribbon and then add maybe a purple ribbon. It's as easy as that. Now we've got a discount on our small office package. Very simple to do. Um, other things that I want to show you are a column options bar at the top left. So as we jump into some of the more advanced features, um, I'm going to show you on the right side of the screen. We have column width, which is fully adjustable. You can make it mobile responsive with the click of a button, which will allow it to stack properly on a mobile device. And you can specify how it stacks. Change the spacing. Um, this is very unique, the full column clickable. Instead of forcing people to click only on the subscribe now button, if they click anywhere on this column, it's going to select the subscribe now option. You can change the opacity so you can have a transparent look and even change the corners. I also want to show you the effects tool set. On the right side, <clears throat> we have some different effects that we can add. Um, the hover effect is what I'm going to choose for this demonstration. You can add a drop shadow, very simply, and there's a number of different shadow styles. Um, column rotation will add a scroll bar, so if you have a number of different packages, you can have a scroll bar so it doesn't squeeze the columns too tight. Navigation buttons, pagination, and different effects are all, are all very easy to add. I'm going to um, 
accept what we've done here and move on to the tooltip. So let's make it easier for people to better understand these rows and what this means. Because um, sometimes, let's be honest, our features are easy for us to understand, but some of our customers might not get it. They need more information. Adding a tooltip is extremely easy. Um, once you select the tooltip at the top, you'll notice that the tooltip column is added here. There's two different styles that you can do. You can have it, um, you can have a normal display style, or you can make it more like an alert, um, more of like a pop-up feature. There's uh, also a glass effect, so I encourage you to check that out when you purchase the product. And um, let's see here, I'm going to show an icon. So we're going to have it show a flag of the little eye, which is very popular. You can change that, of course. And we can change the tooltip position, the font family, and the font size. So I'm going to go ahead and save this tooltip and, and keep it the way it is. So when we jump over to our uh, preview, I can show you how that works. Now, when we jump over here, like let's say I want to add this particular tooltip to this row here. So what I'm going to do is jump in. And um, let's see, I am going to click on this icon here. And let's add a tooltip to this particular row. So I want to say um, storage space on our cloud server. So now this will appear when we preview. So let's check it out and see what we've created so far. Um, you'll notice you can preview this across um, different devices. So you can see our ribbon is here. We've got an animation and notice we we selected the hover effect. You're taking a look now at what the hover effect is. We added a drop shadow, there it is. And notice the little icon here. When you hover over this, it says storage space on our cloud server. So that's how our tooltip icon works. And uh, there's a number of other ways to apply tooltips. Uh, at this point, I wanna show you how to create that um, toggle price. And uh, we'll preview that as well when we're done. And I'll show you the mobile preview at that time. But I quickly want to jump into this because toggle price is so popular in the marketplace right now. Um, and to add it is very simple. I'm just simply going to turn it on. And um, what I recommend doing is copy the first tab data. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. Done. Now what happens is everything from the first screen is already applied over here. So any changes I make here on the monthly side will only appear when you select monthly. And when you go back to yearly, it will show your old settings. Um, there's two different styles. Notice what happens when I click radio style. I'm going to keep it to switch for this uh, demonstration. Title position, um, you can adjust that. You can make it a two or a three step toggle. So if I switch over to three steps, notice we have a quarterly. Now I can have three different pricing packages. Very simple to change colors, fonts, font sizes, and other effects. And I'm going to show you how to change CSS in an upcoming um, section here. So at this point, I'm going to accept the changes I've made. And let's preview this again and see how it looks with our toggle. OK, that looks great. So what I want to do now is make sure it looks OK on a tablet. That looks good. Let's take a look on a mobile device. Perfect. So look at how it stacks so beautifully. I mean, it. A switch would be difficult to do with three positions on a mobile device. So the system knows that and it automatically adjusts and makes it very easy to change packages on a mobile device. And all of the effects are still working. So that all looks neat and tidy. Let's move over to the next stop, which is custom CSS. Um, most people won't use this, but if you have the, the skills and you want to unleash your inner geek, I'm not going to stop you. Click on Custom CSS, and you can go to town here. Um, and we make it really easy to do this, because when you have a Custom CSS box, it's hard to know what the classes are. Um, so what we can do here is I can turn on this little switch down here called Class Info. And now you're able to see what the classes are for each one of these areas. So you simply double click, and it will tell you what the classes are, and make it very simple for you to apply styles to that particular um, element. So what I'm going to do now is um, switch over to the dashboard. Uh, we've already created a project, so I'm going to save this and then cancel out of this window. Now we have a new one. So um, what I want to show you at this point is 
Like here's the one we just created. There's no visits thus far. This is a previous one that we've created. I'm going to click on the Statistics tab to show you the insight that you get with this product. Now there's a daily and a weekly analytics chart that shows you all of the clicks you're getting, where they're coming from. You can also see what the visits have been. And down below, you even have an information about the people that have been clicking and visiting and engaging with your pricing table. Um, information like country and IP address. And that's insight you're just not going to find with any other plugin. Um, at this point, I want to let you know that um, there's plenty of help available to you. Um, and I want to show you that as well. So what I want to do is jump over here to these because these are very unique. Um, there's a tour. So if you purchase the product and want to learn very quickly how to use it, you can actually take a quick tour and it steps you through all the different features. Um, I'm going to end the tour at this point and let you do this um, on your own time, but um, I just wanted to show you that that is available. So another thing I want to point out is there's always one-to-one -one, um, help if you need personalized help. And um, support is always um, just a chat away. So I. Appreciate your time and watching the demonstration and hope to see you as a customer um, as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.